so as a group, we are going to clear the pathway for people um, to, we are going to clear their money blockages. Basically, that's what we are doing. And um, like uh, with the start of, you know, like wanting more and uh, the negative belief that they have. So we're going to work on clearing the money blockages. And the first thing that we're going to actually see is for the group as a whole, what percentage of gratefulness we have for the for their blessings. Because as I explained right in the beginning, if we don't have gratitude for what we have, how do we get more? Right? So let's see as a group. So like we're going to now check for the group, like as for a group, what percentage of gratefulness they have for their financial blessings. And this, of course, people is for the entire group. So it's an average, all right? It's all, it's it's the yes, entire group energy an is put together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's about 30%. So in, in actual, there's very low gra gratefulness for financial blessings. So we are only focusing on financial blessings. People could have gra gra gratefulness for, because it's we are talking about money. You could have gratefulness for your parents and children and your house and um, staff and things like that. But where it comes to money, money, it's only 30%. And now what we're going to do is we're going to check like why, uh, uh, why, why do they have only um, 30% gratefulness? What, if, what, what is the reason for them having only 30% of gratefulness? So what we're doing is we are actually asking questions on our chart and we are going to, um, we're checking and getting the answers from there. So just Excellent. so that people know what we're doing. We are actually working on our tasks. Yeah, so and uh, this momentary so periods of silence, don't worry. As yeah, you said, even momentary working. periods of silence, don't worry. They're doing the work. Uh, and so both Charu and me is. are doing it. Right. Yeah. And so both me and Charu, Charu are checking the same thing. It doesn't mean that we have different energies uh, or we're having different, but we are a duo team and our energy is actually because we work together are uh, very strong and connected so they they both enhance the uh, whatever we get right. so uh, the energy or uh, the reason why they people don't have uh, gratefulness is because of uh, three energies are there one is rejection yeah okay. other is failure and the third one is fear Right. So for the group overall, rejection, failure and fear is what is showing up as as reasons for as a group having this pretty low percentage of uh, of gratitude at 30 percent. Right. Yeah. Right. And, and also uh, embarrassment. Also, sorry, embarrassment. embarrassment. OK. Piles asked, do we have to do anything? No, Pile, you don't have to do anything. Just this is how you get to experience their work. You literally sit back and, and do nothing. Why, what are the energies stopping? And now we're going to ask what are the energies stopping them to have more? Because remember, we, we want to come to that, please, sir, can I have more? And why is it that we cannot ask for more? What stops you from asking for more? And the energy that I got, what, what stops uh, you from uh, getting more or like the people is pride and you were not good enough. And not good enough. Pride. Interesting. Pride and not good enough. Mm. Um, like, yeah. Literally two sides of a coin. Not literally, sorry, but yeah. kind of two yeah. sides of a coin. Right. Yeah, but it's a group energy. So in a yes. sense that there might be... Uh, a lot of people having pride, so I can't ask. And the pride is in the sense, not even like inability to ask, like, you know, because a lot of us don't ask for things because we're like, what if they say no, you know? Right. So we don't really want to hear that no, you know? And we right. immediately go to that state of that, they're not going to ask. Right. They're not going to say yes. Right. And, and so now we're going to look at the uh, co-negative belief. So what is a core negative belief that is creating this uh, uh, inability to ask for more?
uh, no such and it is not compulsory to be on camera i just randomly always ask everybody to come on on video because it's it's great fun to just see everybody while we're talking to them not compulsory at all don't worry so what the core negative belief we have is that i am powerless i am not deserving and the other one is it's too late now interesting it's too late now I mean, yeah. <laughs> like it's too late now does that does that mean like you've given up yes yeah that kind of feeling right like i like i i don't have uh, i don't have any options left i'm i'm done like that yeah. hmm right and there are people who by the way have been with everything that you've been saying very true it's a loop i resonate uh, what should we do to uh, uh, agree with all three and how can we make ourselves able to ask assertively in our profession get okay pile hang on we will come to questions so with, with whatever you've been saying people have been resonating with it but i know there's more to come so people hang on the understanding of what they're able to find out and what can be done about it is still not complete we're still in the middle of yeah. of this little bit of work yeah. for the group uh so uh, the the now for people can say the positive statement as i am inspired i am enough and the other one is i have the power to make my dreams come true so i am inspired i am enough i have the powers to make my dreams come true so is this uh, something that you're kind of increasing the frequency off for the entire group or is it also something that you're saying that everybody should be should start saying anyway for themselves yeah everyone should start everyone who's listening and everything because it's a group demo we are really going to start um vibrating this energy for them so we uh, we're clearing it as well we're not only uh, giving you information we are also clearing it for the group so now the group can start saying these two statements i have the power to make my dreams come true and i am in inspired i am enough right so and uh, the vibe yes 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 go ahead yeah so this is the last part uh, okay. what vibration do they need to be in gratitude uh, so uh, relaxation and devotion it's interesting devotion mm -hmm. is something on the devi summit thank you very much mm. yes yeah <laughs> <laughs> right and of course uh, devotion is not necessarily devotion to god it could be devotion to uh to your to discipline devotion to your working work. to your work devotion to yeah. your family it could be devotion every i'm just saying that is how cool is it that this word has popped up like during this time it just I mean, for me, it it takes it to a to that next level of meaning. That's that's what I'm saying. But it, it doesn't necessarily have to mean that, right? Right. Thank you. Um, so and everybody. also devotion to self, uh, Nilo, because if right. we aren't devoted to self or devoted or committed to self, then uh, where would we go and achieve anything, right? So we have to be right. devoted to ourselves. We have to be committed to ourselves, and then we achieve. And also relaxation is is there because if we are so you know um tightly uh, wound up stressed about right yeah how am i going to make money how am i going to achieve how am i going to do that how am i going to pay my bills and if we are only on that track which is again the lack side uh, then we don't actually can be and relaxation on the other side is letting go letting the universe actually play for you and provide for you because remember again abundance is our birthright we are abundant beings and uh in in the universe it's we are abundant actually if you go to see the universe the trees the earth um nature is abundant right right and just you know just adding in here i just remembered something that guruji had mentioned in the first call about three things which included devotion so here because it's you know it's a money call and big again again because you know it's 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 ashtami it's the devi summit going on everything again what's coming to my mind the relaxation you know 
a certain amount of surrender to the higher power, to the universe. Surrender, let, surrender, and you'll be able to relax. Is how I'm also yes. looking at it. Does that make sense, Brenda Charu? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right. Okay. okay. This is this is this is nice. This is nice. This is uh, just listening to you. You know, bring these out. Just saying the words, even if it is like pride, not good enough, rejection, failure, fear, embarrassment, not deserving. Just the fact that the uh, it, that the cat's out of the bag has made the bag lighter. Yes. So I, I was just played on on some on some other words. <laughs> so I'm 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 following uh, your your path inspired by you. I was just played on some words. So uh, this this is nice. This has been very very interesting. And Kalpana has written in saying positive attitude so true for me. Post retirement, learning new skills to help people around. Nice, nice, Kalpana. And Kalpana is the one we had said hello to earlier. Kalpana, you're retired. You yes. do not look like you like you're supposed to be retired. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Brenda, sorry, were you saying something when I was calling out what Kalpana? I was. Did? I also did one extra energy is oh. because today is my Ma Gauri's day and uh, so in order for us to receive and get our blessings uh, we we got a blessing of strength oh so that's so amazing for everyone to be in in her energy so we then have the strength to be on our path right right oh that is that is that is so beautiful i this is this is this is this is a blessing this is such a blessing <laughs> 